Hi there, we are going to take you through the process of setting up Banano View Tiffy AD3. First, visit the GHub repo and there we will go through the README contents. We explain what Banano View Tiffy AD3 is, and the tools that it uses. To get started, just follow the instructions in the Get Started section. You are going to need B4J, the Java JDK, Banano and then Banano View Tiffy AD3 libraries. Let's open up the links where we will get our initial downloads. On the B4X website, let's download the B4J IDE. From the same site, you have installation instructions, for example, download links to the Java JDK and then paths configuration. The paths configuration tells the IDE where to get the necessary files for the Java JDK, libraries you will use and also some shared code modules. The Banano download is located in the B4X website, you download the zip file, you can also explore the Banano help, to learn more about Banano and its classes and functions. So, you first download and install B4J, then the Java JDK, then Banano. After the download, you continue with the instructions, for example unzipping and placing the Banano libraries in your defined folders. The next operation is to download the Banano View Tiffy AD3 resources, this includes external libraries and the source code of the library. The contents of the external libraries must be copied to your B4J libraries folder and the contents of the library folder must be copied to your workspace folder. We also have two demo application, one for the Banano server and another for normal Banano View Tiffy AD3 web ops. After downloading, installing, unzipping and copying content, you need to set the paths on the B4J IDE. When the B4J IDE is set, you then need to run the Banano View Tiffy AD3 source code, this will help produce the needed B4X library. You open the B4J Banano View Tiffy AD3 project. Then you click run or press F5, this should be done in release mode and is a once-off process, until the next release is available. The process of running the library will prepare the Banano View Tiffy AD3 library for use. On success, the message that the B4X library has been compiled should be evidence. This library will be copied automatically to your library's folder. Just to ensure everything is fine, on checking the library's listing, you should see Banano. You can then explore the demo applications based on the kitchen sink and will also be able to start creating your web ops or websites. On GitHub, we have a compiled version of the kitchen sink, so that you can see what Banano View Tiffy AD3 can produce. Creating web apps or websites with Banano View Tiffy AD3 is simple by using the abstract designer. We will show that on the next video.